Morning, gentlemen. Thank you, Mark. I realize that I'm beginning to sound like a broken record, but here goes anyway. Take off 0400, which brings us over to the French coast just before dawn. We pick up our fighter cover here at Rouen and uh, head on in from there. Our target, same as yesterday, the day before that, and the week before that. The rail yards at Mazrange. Oh. Colonel Jabko, sir. Lieutenant Tate? Aren't we ever going to get off this milk run, sir? You don't like soft missions, Lieutenant? No, sir. Three hours in, three hours back, day after day. I mean, I could fall over in a dead faint from sheer boredom. I'm uh, fully aware of the situation, Lieutenant. And you'll be happy to know that I have taken steps to remedy it. Lieutenant Perry? Oh, yes, sir. The memo. Oh, yes, sir. From the office of the commanding officer to the 465th bomber wing. Subject, recreation. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a dance held at the officer's mess starting at 20 hundred hours this day, July 7th. Nurses from the 49th Avac Hospital will attend. There will be heavy drinking and no curfew. The order of Colonel Homie Jabdo Command. Any questions? <laughs> Lieutenant, you may continue the briefing. Yes, sir. The weather will be mostly clear with scattered clouds. Visibility, 10 miles. You'll fly at an altitude of 14,000 feet until you reach the coast. Just another milk run. That's what it started out to be. But it didn't end that way. We hit the French coast at daylight and broke off in groups of three. When we reached Rouen, the Germans began to throw everything they had at us. found ourselves neat, even 109s. Before our fighters could get them off our back, the ship on my right got it and began to fall away. I was watching her go when my starboard engine caught fire. I tried to stay in the air, but I couldn't. So I pushed the jump button and headed to the nearest exit. I was the last one out. Everything was suddenly very quiet, like the war was a million miles away. But it wasn't. It was directly below me. And I was about to land square on top of it. Combat. A Selmer production. Fergus! Fergus! I told you to knock it off! I thought I saw something. What? I don't know. Maybe it was... Did you see a cage? Uh, no, I didn't see anything. Yeah, sure, Braddock. You show up pretty good. Psst. 
It's on this. What, did you see something? Uh, Fergus here got a little trigger happy. I thought I saw something, Sarge. Well, maybe you did. Lots of infiltrators. Around here? Oh, over at Big Company. Did they get him? Yeah, they got him. Not before they got two of our guys. They're dressed like Frenchmen, and there could be more of them. So just keep on the watch, huh? Just keep away. All right. In here, Jolly Soul. I knew I saw something. Huh? Watch out. He said he was an American. Tafe. Hobby R. He's an officer. Medic! Go on, get a medic. He was one of our guys. And I shot him. American, don't, don't. Lieutenant Dave, don't. Keith, Ace. Air Force? Don't, don't. Are you a flyer? Jepko? It's a farm, my sons. Farm. Where? Where is the farm, Lieutenant? Two kilometers north, my sons. Olivier's farm. Get Colonel Jepko. Get Jepko. Get. Lieutenant, when did you leave? Sorry, Lieutenant. He's had it. Lieutenant, it isn't every day a soldier gets the opportunity to forsake the dull, boring drudgery of combat. A nice, exciting, glorious mission. My men haven't been off the line for three weeks, sir. They're coming apart at the seams. What happened proves Lieutenant, that. Lieutenant, this came from upstairs to division, from division to regiment, and regiment to me. Colonel Jobko is a little more important than you and I may think. He's a wing commander. Yes, sir. His picture's been on magazine covers. Send in the best man available. And you're it. I'm flattered, sir. Report to Division CP at 1400 hours. G2 will brief you there. I'll have a jeep and a driver standing by to take you over. Thank you, sir. Boy, you sure was stupid. Who was what? That Mr. Wild Blue yonder there. What's his name? Lieutenant Tafe? Man, he sure was stupid. Because I killed him? No. Because he let you kill him. Wait a minute, Cage. We had just as much to do with it. Barging into a gun emplacement in a combat area like that. Even without yelling or identifying himself. What'd you expect with all those German flares going off? Maybe you should advertise to them where he was. It's over. Knock it off.
Anybody figured out why they pulled us off the line yet? Maybe to give us a chance to rest. <laughs> and give me a chance to take a bath. Maybe I can use my helmet. How'd you make out a division, Lieutenant? We're moving out tonight. This is Monsieur Gallard. He's a Marquisard. He'll lead us in. Sergeant Saunders. Sergeant, you would be going with us? No. You stay here with Johansson. He'll handle the platoon. I'm taking Braddock, Ferguson, Cage. A lieutenant. Uh, men are taking it pretty bad about Lieutenant Tafe. I'll have to live with it, Sergeant. Have them assembled and ready to move out of 2100. We'll meet at the edge of the bivouac area. Light packs, extra ammo, grenades. I'll get carbines. Yes, sir. All right, this is it. Let's go. Braddock. Braddock, what do you think you're doing? I'm going to take a bath. That is, I, I thought I was going to take a bath. But I'm... I'm not going to take a bath, am I? All right, the farmhouse is about 18 kilometers north of here. About here. That's where Colonel Jabko is supposed to be holed up. Things are pretty fluid out there. Anything can happen. But once we move out, we'll have to play it by ear. Gallard here, he knows the way he's made the contacts. He'll lead us through. Any questions? Well... Lieutenant Tafe was badly shot up. How do we know that what we heard was right? How do we know that Colonel Jabko's even alive? We don't. Come on, let's go. Monsieur, this is your transportation. You really think we can make it, sir, in broad daylight? Gallard's done it before. Anytime you're ready, Lieutenant. All right, get aboard. He's got the necessary papers and rations, so I deliver food to the Germans. I hope that's all he's giving them. If we run into any roadblocks, he'll bluff it through. What if he can't? No confidence, Braddock? Was haben Sie da? Uh, Gimosa. Ich spreche sehr gut Deutsch. Dankeschön. Absteigen, bitte. Was ist los? Wenn Sie nur Lebensmittel haben, ist alles in Ordnung.
Ang nemo rai sa bawa. Akur. Just got it. One in the gut, Lieutenant. Lucky, it could have been worse. How far is the Olivier's farm? The next farm, two kilometers only. This road, the big rails on the road with a small barn across from it. If we hurry. I want to stop this bleeding first. Besides, it'll be dark in an hour. I want to wait a land. It'll be better. But you're wounded. We'll get him there. You better get this load of vegetables into the town. They'll start to think something's fishy. Fishy? Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? Suspicious. The Germans. Oh, oui. Then, listen, Lieutenant. There are three at the farm. Unless some of the little cousins are about. When you arrive in, you will use this pack of cigarettes with the black feather. That will help you to be identified. It is nothing, Chevy. Nothing. Galart will not come tonight. And I hope he never comes. I must admit, the survival books never told us it would be like this. No, darling. No. I mean it. I want to stay with you always. The months we had together, they are everything to me. I do not want them to end. I cannot let you go. Yes. Say it again. I am your Denise. That must be it, sir. It better be. Galard, trois amis qui habitent au sud du village. Right, sir. I speak English. I have two more men. One of them is wounded. On a deux autres hommes. Il y en a un qui est gravement blessé. Ici? Where? Hurry, hurry! Please, 
please don't. Get him cleaned up and as comfortable as possible. Page, you're first up for guard duty. Right, sir. Lieutenant, I'm Colonel Jabko. We're glad to see you, fellas. Colonel? Uh, Lieutenant Hanley. What happened? A German checkpoint. One of my men took a slug on the stomach. How is he? Not good. Uh, Patron, is there a doctor, a doctor in the village, comprenez? I understand. I'm sorry, nobody to come here now. I asked my wife to fix you some food. Is that the uh, only place you have any trouble? Yeah. We came through with a fellow named Gallard. You met him? If it wasn't for Gallard, I wouldn't be here. Where is he now? Went to the village, wherever that is. Said he'd get here when he could. And uh, we're all supposed to get back with him. Is that the idea? <clears throat> yes, sir. Actually, what the vision has planned is... Denise, this is Lieutenant Hanley. Denise lives there with her aunt and uncle. How are you, Hypno? How do you do? I saw outside you have someone wounded. Can I help him? No, thanks. I think we've done about all we can. You will all stay here? Until he's better? Well, I... Uh... I don't know exactly what we're going to do yet. That depends upon what Gillard wants to do. Yeah, can't accept the Olivier's to uh, put up a whole squad, and not for very long. The bush have not even been here for two weeks, almost. Yeah, that's what I mean. We're running out of luck, honey. You say that? You told me you were the luckiest pilot in the Air Force. We're all lucky around here. Fergus. Still out. Did you see anything? No, nothing. Just a few planes, a little bit of artillery out in the southwest there. Not a soul along the road. What's the colonel and the lieutenant have in mind, you know? Beats me. Say, where do you suppose the old Frenchman with the truck is? Gallard? Yeah. Yeah. Him, I would love to see on that road. The four of us had a report on our way to the IP. Went over Rouen, they sent up 109s all over the place. They blew up. Only saw two parachutes. I was lucky, like uh, Denise said. Well, maybe not too lucky. I got some iron in my leg, but uh, it could have been worse. Then I landed in a plowed field, and the Jerry's were busy looking for some of the other guys instead of me. Farmer saw me, turned me over to the underground, and here I am. Not much longer, I hope. Yeah. How big is that truck? We barely got in, sir. Why? Any idea when your division's planning to push through here? Me? No, sir. Well, the way they move, well, when they do move, how long did you say it'd take them to get here? Four days? Uh, a week? Wouldn't take them too long, would it? You got a man out there, Lieutenant? Yeah. Oui? Nous vous apportons le salut de Gallard et de ses amis. Gallard. Chaco, mon vieux glatou, see you. Everything all right? I will tell you. The patron and madame asleep? Mm -hmm. And you're wounded? Very weak. We cannot leave any too soon in any event. What's the problem? The delay I had in Mazan. There is a, a leak in our organization. We are afraid there could be a traitor. Four weeks ago, a man hiding with Mr. Goujon. 
discovered, killed with Goujon. Three weeks ago, the Englishman, I think I told you, we were hiding. We passed him almost through the line. He and the contact men in flesh, both discovered and killed. Then, the FFI woman reached almost the channel, caught like a fish in the net. Yes, gentlemen, this is not good. Three. And then, you know, Dave. Or we don't know what to think. Safe, what about safe? Did you explain? Explain what? No. What's he talking about, Lieutenant? What about safe? Well, sir, as it happened... Uh... Listen, he's a friend of mine. You tell me anything you know. He was in civilian clothes. He, he made it almost our position, and then he was shot. We shot him? Killed? What stupid outfit did that? My platoon. Then why do they send you? To apologize? Sir, I know nobody can say anything that's going to help. No, mister, I don't think there is. Your men do a fool thing like that, and I'm supposed to go along with you merrily on my way. One big happy family. Let bygones be bygones. Colonel, I didn't ask for this mission. I was sent. It's a dirty detail, and right now my men don't care what you think. That's on up, Lieutenant. We cannot decide in any event. Tomorrow I hope to see my chief. Then the final decision will be made. Make them now. There is only one thing to do. Denise, what are you saying? They would be fools to let you go back now. The Allies are coming this far very soon. Very soon. You are safe here. You're never safe. Nobody's ever safe. My orders are to get you back with the utmost speed and safety. And right now, Lieutenant, my orders can countermand yours. I can't force the Colonel to go with us. There is no reason to leave. You cannot leave. If it is revealed that uh, Colonel Jabko is here, how many people know? Very few. But very few knew about the Englishman and Goujon, the poor girl from the FFI. Stay. Stay with us. Zito chantre facile de repolo. Le corps est le chantre, la bande est facile de chantre. Ma panne nous repasse de la masse et chantre. C'est moi un des plus trains. Le piano me veut la patte. Bonjour. Comment vous appelez-vous? Bonjour à vous euh, tous. Je dis comment vous appelez-vous euh, Bonjour, euh, Coupé, jean -Soise. Nous sommes les cousins de Denise. Denise Bonjour à vous, uh, Denise, likewise. <rire> Quoi Quoi Idiot. <rire> Idiote Très idiot. Oui, Marcel. Idiot I'm sorry. They are my cousins from the farm beyond. They came to get some eggs this morning. But if they saw me and the other guys? No worry, monsieur. Eat the water hot? Fine, fine, thanks, fine. Anything you need? Uh, need? No, no, I, I, don't, I don't need anything. <laughs> May I scrub your back? Scrub my back? <laughs> I, uh... See, I'm <laughs> kind of glad you asked that question. Braddock? Fergus just cashed in. He never came to. Now what? Well, I don't know. All the brass is in there. Did the Colonel ask you about TAFE? Yeah. In a very few well-chosen words. Me too. Now that Fergus is gone, though, there'll be more room in the truck. Look, they can squeeze in anybody they want. I just want to go back where we came from. This waiting around here is bugging me. Sir, I don't think we can wait for the underground to get us out. The longer we stay, the greater danger we're in. 
The French underground got you a man in, Lieutenant, and will get us all out if we leave. There is always the risk, but uh, the German counterattack could cut us off completely. Uh, I don't know what the best route is. You know, we have to make a fight for it. We're all packed in that truck like sardines. No route is the best route. In war, there is fate and bad luck. And stupidity. And traitors. Ça, c'est vrai, mon vieux. Who knows? Who knows? We do our best. Where are you going, Lieutenant? With the Colonel's permission, I'm going out and relieve Braddock. Gillard, if we leave, and then the Germans find out that the Oliviers and Denise were hiding me. But there is no room for all, Colonel. There is no room in the truck for all. What is it, Denise? Anything wrong? No. Do you have any cigarettes? I think so. Thank you. Do you have to take him away? Well, that's not entirely up to me. He said you and your men could go back without him, if you wished. He said maybe. I could persuade him, I think. If I could persuade you. I love him. He's everything. He came to me weary and tired and with a bad leg. Exhausted from the war, exhausted from leading too many missions. And I... I healed him. For me, there's never been another man. Not before the war, not now. And... I want him to stay. Here, on my uncle's farm, the fifth sum of the war. And I find the man I've wanted all my life. It's not up to me. A little, yes. It is a little up to you. How can I persuade you? What can I do for you to convince you? Denise Olivier? You're quite a girl. Thank you. For this, yet no, I thank you. Presque un mois que je peux manger un repas comme ça. <rire> vous allez voir quand la guerre est finie ce que je vais vous faire. Tu vas apprendre la cuisine française. Vous voulez essayer ça un peu? Ouais, je vais l'essayer. Bon. cover the side of the road. Braddock! We must get to the woods. Is 
Joe, this house. Olivier, stay off. Come in here. Mon capitaine, je parle pas l'anglais. Je comprends pas. But it's well known that you do understand English. Yes. It's you and your wife and your niece, all of you, don't you? Yes. Come here. Do you practice the English with the English pilots and saboteurs who parachute down, or with the Americans and Canadians you keep from time to time? There's nobody here, Miss. Madame. Come here. How many did you have here? Mademoiselle! Come here. Who was the man you buried here today? American? French? Who was he? It's easier to talk to me than to the Gestapo. Where did he come from? You have been seen, Olivier. We have the body. How did he get the wound? There was nobody here, monsieur. The all loyal farmers, loyal to the Third Reich, obeying all their laws? Yes. And you do not belong to the underground and don't listen to any forbidden radio. Clearing the desk? But, Captain, one can explain. Yes, of course. Bullet wound in the stomach. Fatal wound requiring burial. in the house. There's no time. We've got to. Hurry. Come on. We must leave here. Get to the truck. Depeche on him. Murdered where they stood. And the Germans knew about Fergus. They knew he was here. Gallard, we've got to get moving. 
Denise, why did they not murder you where you stood? What are you saying, Gerard? Why do the Germans want to keep you alive? They heard the firing outside. A squeeze of the trigger. One second, it would have been easy. Why did they not kill you, Denise? Are you too useful to them? No! Tell him to stop. Why did they leave you alive, Denise? <sighs> Why? I love you, Cherie. I love you. Why? Don't look at me like that, please. Why? Why? It is so very simple, why? I did it for you. For you. Yes, and all the others. I did it for you, only you. As long as I informed on the others, I could keep you safe with me. I had to. I did it for you, Jerry. For you. Let's go. Oh, no. Don't leave me! Please, don't leave me! I will not kill you now, as you deserve. But wherever you try to hide, anywhere at all, we will find you. You know we will find you. Please, don't leave me! Please! You got a pass? Yes, yes, I have a pass. Several of them, including a colonel. Come on, come on, help me to a move. End of the line, sir. The colonel call on us any time. Hi, Lieutenant Hanley, how are you? Little John. How are you, Charlie? Braddock, how was it, Rob? Monsieur, it was wonderful. Je suis très blessé. La rade de Chambra. Monsieur, à nous, c'est James. Je ne sais pas ce que tu racontes, mais c'est intéressant. Oh. Good morning, Colonel. It's good to have you back. Thank you, Lieutenant. Sorry that you missed the dance. So was I. Lieutenant Perry? Yes, sir. It's operation, sir. Where was that going? Roger. I got it. The target, sir? The rail yards in Mars Ranch. Another milk run. Yeah. Another milk run. <laughs> <laughs> 